Tonight, there are still three active wildfires in the Texas Panhandle that have burned over 1 million acres, displacing residents and livestock. Donnie Tuggle spoke with some local ranchers and others who were there helping. Dewey Clark and Jared Dreer are two of several Brazos Valley ranchers that recently returned from making the more than 1,100-mile journey to and from the Texas Panhandle. Their convoy loaded with over 200 round bales of hay and other donations made their way up I-45 to help those impacted by the wildfires that have burned more than 1 million acres. In 11, uh, we had some fires here and uh, I know they come from all over down here to help us. So we were glad to be able to uh, be able to help them. Tammy Harvey has family in Miami and helped organize relief efforts and says it's all about being a good friend and neighbor. We've been through some tornadoes through this area. We've been through fires through this area. We've been through drought in this area, but nothing as devastating as, as what those people faced. And, and the main thing is it wasn't just to help them, but it was to help everybody up there that needed help. Dreer, a firefighter in College Station, says being able to make a difference after seeing the devastation made their efforts even more impactful. The owner, he pretty much, he was broke down in tears when we first got there, you know, uh, just very appreciative. You know, the guy was uh, devastated. His, his whole livelihood was destroyed, you know, in just a matter of hours. Reporting in Beat Eyes, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Several groups are planning additional trims to the region. If you would like to help, we have information about how to do that at kbtx.com. Love to see that. Well, Texas a and Chancellor John Sharp joined Governor Greg Abbott in the Panhandle yesterday to help survey some of the damage to the region. Texas A&M system agencies like the A&M Forest Service, AgriLife Extension, and the Veterinarian Emergency Team are assisting in response efforts. Chancellor Sharp says not only is the Aggie response a duty, but it's a reflection of the university's core values. Uh, there's 500 and something Aggies folks there. There's another 200 people from out of state that are under the jurisdiction of our Aggies and, and the, the volunteer folks. It's all being coordinated by Texas A&M and, and doing what a land-grant university ought to do, and that is take care of people of Texas. Whenever there is some tragedy like this that arises. You see Texans pulling together. You see neighbor helping neighbor, county helping county. This entire region pulls together. The chancellor says the main focus is to take care of the people of Texas and prioritize the wildfire cleanup. As of now, the Smokehouse Creek fire, the biggest one, is only 37% contained.